Hey guys, happy Thursday. Welcome back to yet another trip to the thrift, episode 21 today, and I'm very, very excited. The rain has not got me down. Don't worry about that. I'm still feeling very good about what we can find today. I think when it rains, less people come out and shop, and that provides an opportunity for me to strike gold. I'm only looking for the good stuff today too, guys. I don't want to grab the $20 to $30 profit item. I want to go top end, and there's always a bit of luck in that, but I'm hoping today... Today could be the day that we find a few really cool items. So let's get into the first op shop. Full-time reseller, guys, all things online reselling. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. We are here at the first op shop. It is 9.15 a.m. So I do want to get stuck into today right away. And hopefully we can bring you some really cool items. So let's get into it. First op shop of the day, all done and dusted, and I've had a pretty good start. I'm really happy with these items, can't wait to show you them. Um, what I will do is I'll show you my first purchase. It's, uh, what, what are we, 17th? We're about a week away from Christmas, so it's time to get the Santa hat on and um, make this a little bit more festive. And that, how do I look? We'll see if I can keep this on for the rest of the episode. All right, um, first one that I found was some guys that I loved to watch back in the day. I'll put a little clip up here for you to let you know what I'm talking about. The Krusty Demons. So the Krusty Demons, they're just crazy. Uh, they do some awesome stunts. Uh, I've got the box series here, so there's eight years worth of Krusty Demons, uh, I guess, tapes to, to look back on, collector's edition, uh, volume one and volume two. I saw that volume one was going for about $25, and then this one, volume two, or volume, yeah, volume two, this one was going for 50, but it was a sealed copy. So I'm gonna have to knock a few off for it and say maybe 30. Um, so all in all, I think I could probably go $59.95 free post and make 50 bucks on those. I paid $2 each, so, $4 in for the Krusty Demons. I found this magical collection of Disney books. Now, these are all the favorites. You've got all your main ones in here, Beauty and the Beast, Tinkerbell, Pirate and Fairy, Tinkerbell again, Little Mermaid, Cinderella, Frozen. So everything that you would want in a kid's range. And it's also got the 3D cover on it as well. So every book cover, you might be able to see it warp there. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty cool. I reckon, uh, well, I spent $5 on that. So I think I'll be able to turn that into 30 pretty quickly. The other one as well was this Tag Hoyer hat. Now, Tag Hoyer watches, this one's got the Club 360 on the back. And if you have a look, there's some genuine authentic authenticity there as well. Um, this is a real product, genuine product, no fake about it. And the comps were $50, if you can believe. This hat is selling for $50 on eBay eBay. Thank you very much. I only paid seven dollars, so I'm going to go fifty on this one. I'm going to take all this um, feather dust off. That's not an issue at all. That'll come off pretty quick. Um, this is a brand new hat, and it sold for fifty dollars. So you can't be disappointed when you're finding hats for fifty. Uh, that was everything. First op shop of the day. So there's well over hundred dollars worth of resale value there through our very first uh, op shop. So we've got three more to do today, and we're already probably about a hundred dollars profit. So if that can continue, this is going to be a very very good day. Let's get on to the next one. Fingers crossed, we can find some cool stuff. shop number two complete um where's my hat it's christmas time where's my hat here we go all right um so second op shop 
I managed to dive in. Oh shit, I put that on that. That's better. Second off shot, managed to dive in and grab a few things, but there was one thing, I'm gonna kick it straight off. We managed to find, right at the end, the Stargate board game. This is incredible. This is sealed. This is value. There's money to be made here. I've paid $10 for this thing, and I saw comps going as you would have, been, well, you'd be seeing it right now. $140 this thing is worth. It's just incredible to find that sealed after all this time. This game is a 2003 Fleet Games, and if you have a look at that, $140 for a brand new Stargate game, that's gonna go quick on eBay, and I found it in the op shop for just 10 bucks. So awesome there. Hey, Brandwatch, I wanna show you this brand because I think that you will um, hopefully find it yourself and make a few dollars from it. Uh, Carhartt, there it is there. I think Kanye West wore it once and it just suddenly blew up. Uh, but Carhartt is definitely a brand to be getting your hands on. I don't find it too much. This is literally the first time this year that I found it thrifting. Uh, this is a 36 waist. Um, when I do see it, I grab it. And obviously this is the first today. So I'm gonna continue to look for that brand. Um, I was wrapped to see it when I did. And then I found the New Balance as well. The New Balance running shoes. These are in very good condition. And the brand or the make of it is a 1080 V4. Four. And I'll put the comps up here to let you have a look at them, but they were they were just a very cool running shoe. New Balance range, uh, good soles on them as well. Uh, didn't have to shell out too much. I think it was about $15, but that is probably the most that I would pay for a pair of shoes in an op shop. But I just think that I can turn these into $50 pretty fast. So if they do sell for 50 plus some postage, I'm making about 30 to $35. And that's what I like to do with my shoes. Try and make at least 30 bucks. And at $15, I reckon I could do that with those. So just the three items items in that op shop, but it's this guy. He's gonna make me the most. He's gonna make me over $100, and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I did a board game recently that made me over $200 uh, for the Battlestar Galactica that I bought a few months back, but that one is probably the second best board game I've ever bought, and it's sealed, which is even better. Uh, let's move on, off shot number three. I'm having a good day. It's still raining out here, but who cares? We're finding some good stuff and we're making money, and that's what it's all about. So, off shot number three, let's go. <laughs> Don't you love to see the trucks roll in? Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, three, two, one, we're gonna run in. I don't care how wet we get, and we're gonna find some really cool stuff. Ah.
it was a great off shot run. It managed to grab only three items, but geez, they were big ticket items. The first one that I found were these 32 uh, snowboard boots. Now, in a past life, I spent two years snowboarding in Canada, and uh, I do know my snowboard brands very, very well. The brand 32 is absolutely one to look out for. A, look, these boots go for three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. I've paid thirty dollars, a very small investment for what is a very, very expensive shoe. Um, the 32 uh, brand is just one to get your hands on. This is um, Chris Bradshaw. I personally haven't looked into the comps on this. I just knew that at $30 for a pair of snowball boots at what they are retail. I'll try and find the exact match for this one and put a comp up here for you to have a look at. But keep an eye out for those. Also keep an eye out for your ski boots as well. Um, here in Australia, it's obviously not the right time to be trying to sell snowboard boots. But I just think for the value of $30 purchase, if I was to try and even put them up for about 150 to 200, they're probably gonna sell because I'm at a guess, guessing they're about a three to $400 shoe. So ripping fine there. I also found the waterproof all leather Timberland women's boots as well. Um, get your hands on Timberland because they can sell for a really, really high dollar. Um, these were a size six in the women's range and doing the comps, I think I can, I, I don't know the exact figures. So I'm gonna have to do a bit more research, but whenever you're finding genuine leather, you're finding Timberland, waterproof hiking type boots, snow boots, um, really good sole on these, hardly anywhere. I was just wrapped to find them for just $15. So 30 for the snowboard boots, 15 for, for, the, uh, for the women's hiking boots. And then I found a fully tagged, how about that? A fully tagged New York Knights, um, New York, uh, Newcastle Knights NRL jersey. Um, so that one was just a ripping find, brand new, all fully logoed up. That one is a very genuine product. It's got the authenticity tags on there. It is a 5XL though, so it is quite a large size, but I'm okay with that. Um, there would be someone out there, even somebody that might want to frame it. Never be disappointed with too large of a size. I still think that one will move, even at a 5XL. So that was it, guys. Only three in there. I spent $50, but they are big ticket items. They are all generating a big return. These ones here, this jersey, that could probably get me about $70, $80 pretty quickly because it is tagged. So we're doing really well. Um, we're going to get off to one more op shop, and fingers crossed it can be a massive one to end the day. Starting to pour down here, guys. I hope you can hear me okay. Last op shop of the day, all done and dusted. And wowie, these are the find of the day and potentially the find of the last, well, couple of months for me at least anyway, since I've been full time. This was just incredible. Um, this one was worth, this one, okay. So first of all, the Sega Mega Drive console games. These are old school. We're talking 19, we're talking 1988 Sega games, Sega Master Series. This one's worth about 30 bucks. I think this one, Monaco GP, he's only worth about 15. But Wonderboy 3, The Dragon's Trap. This thing, well, one comp I found for $250 plus postage, if you don't mind. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm just, I'm editing the video and I've done a bit of research into this thing. And it, while it is the exact same case that comps for $250, it needs to be a silver game case. So that needs to be silver. 
for it to be worth 250. It's black and blacks are worth $45. So unfortunately, while I thought I was onto the winner working off the case when I was doing my comps, I realized I only had a $45 one. So I thought I would let you know that before I get back into the video. So let's go back. And to think that I only paid $2 for these um, is just absolute madness. Uh, I found another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys because I found a Patagonia wetsuit for $10. Now, wetsuits are worth a lot of money brand new. And I found a Patagonia wetsuit for $10. And it was comping, well, not comping, but um, it was selling retail for $700. So it's, it's proof that there is money to be made in the wetsuits out there. And ever since I found that Patagonia, I've been keeping an eye out and I've found another wetsuit. Put it on your list of items to look for when you're in the thrift. Um, this was O'Neill. So O'Neill is a really good surf brand. I like to buy board shorts that are O'Neill. Now this is just a, um, a short john. So it's a short john spring suit. Basically, it's just a, a, a like a short length on it, short leg, and it's also got like the vest type top. So um, as you can see here, it's a men's medium. Um, I've paid just $8, but I really do think that I could turn that into $50 to $60 to $70 pretty comfortably. It's in very good condition. This material holds for a very, very long time, and there's no tears in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with about a $60, $70 mark. Uh, free postage on that one but keep an eye out for the wetsuits because there's a lot of money to be made and they never really mark them up at least the op shops that i've been in here on the gold coast they don't really tend to mark them too much more than about 10 bucks i've just paid eight dollars for this one here so that's going to be a money maker um, i found the gold coast titans uh, uh training top as well so i just love buying sporting clothing it's just a it's a bit of a passion for mine and uh when I saw that in a, in a training tee, I paid just $5 for it. I saw it on the rack and I had to grab it because that'll turn into 25 to 30 pretty comfortably. Um, and then I also found this top as well. Now, I don't, I couldn't find any comps about it. It is a European make in the sense that it's all the wording is European. You can see there, uh, the world race. I don't even know what this polo is, but it's a Lamborghini polo. It's got the official Lamborghini uh, logo on it and they just sell very, very well. The comps for anything Lamborghini is quite high and uh, I paid five dollars I think it was five dollars she took the tags off but it was a very small investment for this and I'm just thinking that it might go for quite a few but I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna have to do some research uh, but there it is there so I've, I've just gone ahead and grabbed it we'll see what we can do with it but if we can turn it into a couple of bucks you can't complain so that was everything in that one um, all done it was the, it was the Sega games it was the Sega games that have just rounded out this day incredibly well I can go home now and start listing it just goes to show that you can make a lot of money in the thrift stores by selling online and that's why I do these videos to show you the stuff that you can buy in good condition with good brand makes um, that goes on to sell well the proofs out there you can search eBay you can find the comps and you know before you buy what they're worth. I do all my comp searching while I'm in store. So I'm comfortably buying knowing that the profit will be there. Um, so yeah, hopefully a bit of motivation for you to know that there is a heap of stuff out there. You can get your hands on it. You've just got to put in the time and the work and the effort to go out and find the right product and then sell it online. You'll make your money. So ripping day today, amongst all the rain, we've been able to find some cool stuff. You've just got to persist and persevere. Could have easily thrown in the towel today with all this rain around, but I've said, no, let's get out. We'll make the video and we'll find some cool stuff. And that's exactly what we've done. So thrilled that you've come along for the ride with me. If you're still here now and you've enjoyed anything out of it, let me know what your favorite item was that I was able to find. Let me know what you also found this week yourself because I love to hear it. And um, give this video a like if you got anything out of it. But um, look forward to catching you in the next episode, guys. I'm going to do a Sunday video. It's going to be my what's sold video. I'm going to show you, hopefully, some of this stuff that sells from uh, this lot today. But um, yeah, it's been a pleasure having you along for the ride. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So until then, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.